हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द कोर्स सॉइल एंड वाटर कॉन्जर्वेशन एंड वाटर शेड मैनेजमेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विथ न्यू सेशन वी आर ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड एंड वी टॉक्ट अबाउट द फर्स्ट लेसन सम ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट इन फर्स्ट लेसन we started with unit 1 that is introduction and basic concepts of watershed management in which we are in which we started with lesson 1 that is introduction to watershed management in this first lesson we have already covered some of the topics like concept of watershed watershed characteristics watershed approach and principles of watershed management now as far as the first lesson is considered now we are going to talk about the remaining uh, topics in this in this particular lesson that is watershed deterioration consequences of watershed deterioration uh, what are the watershed problems and uh, relative complications and what is the necessity of watershed management so to begin with let's start with uh, the uh, watershed deterioration <clears throat> so uh, when we discuss about watershed management uh, we have to see uh, the various issues uh, which are related with the uh, watershed uh, so in this particular slide i have uh, already uh, 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 listed some of the uh, watershed de deterioration related uh, problems <clears throat> so generally in watershed uh, there are different problems uh, related with the uh, uh, water then the resources like uh, land and uh, uh, the agriculture vegetation grassland <clears throat> so uh, while we have to implement the project uh, uh, we have to consider various activities which are happening uh, within the watershed so there may be some uncontrolled uh, or unplanned activities uh, which 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 have already been uh, uh, the impl uh, which have already been done uh, in in the watershed uh, which are uh, which are carried out in unscientific way so generally uh, what happens that because of the uncontrolled uh, and unplanned and unscientific land use uh, which is the major issue uh, which is considered as a major issue in a uh, watershed uh, <clears throat> so for example uh, like uh, the unscientific uh, or unplanned agriculture lands uh, within a watershed uh, uh, so generally farmers Uh, if uh, they are not uh, scientifically trained or not uh, given the scientific information regarding uh, management of uh, agriculture lands mm. then different issues may occur like erosion uh, uh, or when uh, farmers are cultivating or using monoculture practices so if we, if you see uh, in this particular uh, picture Uh, uh, where you can see hectares of land uh, a, a single uh, crop is been cultivated so because of this monoculture practices um, the the uh, the land use or the agriculture land is not scientifically uh, managed <clears throat> uh, so because of this the deterioration happens uh, in a particular watershed then uh, Uh, the watershed erosion uh, due to various faulty land management practices there can be a soil erosion and uh, the the top fertile soil uh, uh, gets uh, uh, it becomes uh, loose and then it washed away with the uh, runoff and uh, uh, which gets transported from one watershed to another watershed so this will make uh, the whatever the existing soil uh, unfertile and uh, 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 for, for the next cropping cycle it becomes a very uh, it, it is a problem for uh, the agriculture then uh, the issues like shifting of cultivation by the farmers so 
uh, also this uh, uh, this is one of the issues as far as the agriculture land is considered uh, <coughs> that uh, there is no any uh, shifting of uh, 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 cultivation. Uh, so, generally a single crop is cultivated every year. Uh, so, again the soil becomes unfertile and because of this unmanaged or unscientific uh, practices, uh, another uh, uh, subsequent issues may arise in a particular uh, watershed. Then the next uh, uh, another issues like forest and grassland are, are considered. Uh, so, if the, there is uncontrolled uh, deforestation uh, uh, is happening within the watershed uh, uh, or the issues like forest fire uh, that can also lead to a reduction in uh, the forest area uh, uh, for the watershed that we are considering. And then the grassland uh, and um, suppose <coughs> A uncontrolled grazing is done within a watershed uh, uh, without any appropriate management practices. Uh, then, whatever uh, the grassland uh, which is available within the watershed will get reduced, uh, <coughs> and uh, this grass will not be available uh, for the cattle. Then, uh, the other resources uh, like uh, minerals. Uh, uh, and uh, so, within the mining uh, and in uh, geological features, different types of rocks are available, uh, some uh, rich uh, uh, stones are available. So, uh, if the unscientific mining or querying is conducted, is done within the uh, watershed uh, due to which uh, the watershed deterioration takes place and as far as the various uh, the uh, activities are considered. Uh, so, uh, this is the uh, uh, picture representing uh, the uncontrolled or uh, unscientifically uh, uh, mining activities which have been conducted <coughs> uh, in a particular watershed. Uh, then uh, an another activities like construction activities uh, like roads, uh, uh, road alignments uh, and various other construction activities uh, which are not done in a scientific way. Uh, so, this can also lead to a uh, watershed related uh, problems. <coughs> then uh, next point is about uh, the uh, industrial activities. So, uh, whatever the activity uh, industrial activities that are part uh, 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 within the watershed and if they are uh, developed in uh, unplanned way. Uh, so, that will also lead to a deterioration of the uh, watershed. So, this is the uh, development of uh, industrial area within a particular uh, watershed. So, another major issue as far as the watershed is considered uh, is people's apathy means uh, people are not concerned con uh, are not concerned about uh, the resources within the watershed. So, uh, they are not bothered about the planning and um, uh, whatever the activities they are uh, uh, in which their participation uh, should be considered. Uh, is not there. So, that also leads to uh, a watershed deterioration. So, as far as watershed management is considered, uh, people's partic participation plays very important role. <coughs>